Hi hey everyone, today's video is about when Bakugo saves you from a creepy stalker. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. You're standing at the bus stop, the cool evening breeze ruffling your hair. The street lights cast a soft glow on the pavement, and you pull your jacket tighter around you, trying to ward off of the chill. It has been a long day at work, and all you want was to get home and relax with Bakugo. Your phone buzzes in your pockets, and you fish it out to see a message from him. Bakugo. Almost home. You smile, typing out a quick reply. You. Waiting for the bus. Should be home in 20 minutes. You tuck your phone back into your pocket and glance around, feeling a shiver run down your spine. The street was unusually quiet, and you can't shake the feeling that you were somehow being watched. You tell yourself that it's probably just your imagination and all those dramas that you're watching, but you can't help scanning your surroundings anxiously. Suddenly, you notice a figure standing across the street, partially hidden in the shadows. The person is staring directly at you, and a chill of fear runs through you. You quickly look away, hoping that they'll somehow lose interest, but you can still feel their gaze on you. It's not even going away. The bus finally arrives, and you board it with a sigh of relief. You take a seat in the back, glancing out the window to see if the figure is still there. To your horror, you see them crossing the street and heading straight towards the bus stop. Your heart races, and you quickly text Bakugo again. You. Something's weird. I think someone is following me. His reply was almost immediately. Bakugo. What? Where are you? You. On the bus. They were at the stop, and they were staring at me. Bakugo. Stay on the bus. I'm coming to get you. You don't have to worry. You feel a rush of relief at his words. Bakugo was always your rock. Your protector. And you know that with him around, you will be safe no matter what happens. And you were sure of it as well. The bus ride seems to take forever. But finally, you reach your stop. You hesitate for a moment, scanning the area for any sign of the stalker. Seeing no one, you step off the bus and make your way towards your apartment building. You don't get far before you hear footsteps. And you quicken your pace, your heart pounding in your chest. The footsteps speed up to match yours, and you break into a run, fear gripping you tightly. Just as you reach the entrance of your building, a hand grabs your arm, yanking you back. You cry out, struggling to fear yourself, but the grip was too strong. Hey, where do you think you're going? A rough voice hisses in your ear. Let go of me. You shout, panic rising in your chest. Not a chance. The stalker growls, pulling you closer. Suddenly, a powerful voice cuts through the night. Get your hands off of her. No. You look up to see Bakugo standing a few feet away his eyes blazing with fury. The stalker hesitates, but before they even react, Bakugo launched forward, his fist connecting with the stalker's face with a sickening thud. The stalker stumbles back, releasing you, and Bakugo steps. Between you and them, his body radiating anger, the stalker, clutching their bleeding nose, takes one look at Bakugo and bolts down the street. Bakugo watches them go, his fist clenched, before turning back to you. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? He asks, his voice softening as he steps closer. You nod, tears of relief streaming down your face. 
I'm okay. Thank you, Katsuki. He falls into his arms, holding you close to him. I'm sorry I wasn't here earlier. I should have come as soon as you called me. You shake your head, burying your face in his chest. No, you got here just in time. I don't know what would have happened if you weren't here. He presses a kiss to the top of your head. You don't have to worry about that. His hand was gently stroking your back. Now let's get inside, okay? You nod, allowing him to lead you into the building and up into your apartment. Once inside, he locks the door behind you and checks the windows, making sure that everything is secure. You sit on the couch, still shaken from the encounter. Bakugo joins you, pulling you into his lap and wrapping his arms around you protectively. I'm so glad you're okay. He murmurs, his breath warm against your ear. You lean into him, feeling safe and secure in his embrace. I knew you'd come for me. That's why I wasn't really worried. Always. He replies, his voice filled with determination. No one messes with my person. You smile, feeling a sense of peace wash over you. I love you, Katsuki. He kisses you softly, his lips lingering on yours. I love you too, more than anything. The rest of the evening was spent in the comfort of each other's arms, the earlier fear fading away in the warmth of Baku's presence as he drifts off to sleep, wrapped up in his arms. You know, that no matter what happens, whatever it is, you're always going to be safe as long as as you were by his side. And the next morning, when you wake up to the comforting warmth of Bakugo's body wrapped around yours, the sunlight filtering through the curtains, casting a soft glow over the room, you turn to face him. Watch him, basically. His expression relaxed in sleep, and so you gently brush a strand of hair away from his forehead, feeling a surge of affection. He stirs, his eyes fluttering open, and when he sees you, a small sleepy smile spreads across his face. Morning. He mumbles. Morning, Kaski. How did you sleep? Better with you here, he says. You? Same. Thank you again for saving me. I'll always protect you, no matter what. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and goodbye!